School back. <laughs> I think this is enough. Welcome. My name is Wang Bum. Part of the GOB affiliates. Not even part of the GOB affiliates. Let me let me straighten that out. A GOB admin. Look. It's about 12, 22 a.m. They're really not late. I may bust out a few uploads and shit. Best head giver, me. But you know what I'm saying? I just want to make sure y'all know I'm really that nigga and shit. Bathrooms. Man, school bathrooms have to be some sort of anomaly in our universe. Because the absolute strangest things are going on in them. Bro, when I tell you, bro, school bathrooms, like I said, you know what I'm saying before, school bathrooms are the shittiest. School bathrooms are, are like, you know what I'm saying, a black hole of just sucking, um, I mean like literally and figuratively because the amount of girls that have been caught or known to be given head in school bathrooms is absolutely crazy. Like, I feel like I see more prostitutes in schools than on the corner anymore. You know what I'm saying? I feel like OnlyFans girls have their startup in school. You know what I'm saying? When they was, you know what I'm saying, giving head to everybody. And a few people missed out. You know what I'm saying? The real the real simps, sad people, you know what I'm saying, the non bitch getters, they was missing out on, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, fat butt you know what I'm saying? Big bunda, big bat to go. You know what I'm saying? They was missing out on her. You know what I'm saying? So Trudy said, oh, because, you know what I'm saying, Sam and his bitch friend, um, Williams, missed out on me giving sloppy toppy to, you know what I'm saying, James and Michael. I'm going to make sure I make an OnlyFans for them so that they pay to see their friends getting head, bro. I would be heated. My ass would be done. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. If I ever got scammed like that and I and I bought an OnlyFans and I saw my friend getting head on there, I beat my friend's ass. Not because I got scammed, but because why ain't you just send me this shit, bro? Like, pause. But why ain't you just send me this shit, my nigga? Like, I could have been way better off just having you log into her phone, send me all the videos from her shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just solo of her. You know, you know what I'm saying? We both get a good trade because, you know what I'm saying, you my friend, so you're going to make sure I eat well. I'm going to always make sure my niggas eat well, you know what I'm saying? I'm making sure you eating well, literally and figuratively, you know what I'm saying? Because if she a tramp and I'm not rocking with it, I'm going to be like, nah, dog, don't eat that. You know what I'm saying? It's bad watermelon, you know what I'm saying? It's moldy, it's rotten, it's probably a little mushy, but not the good kind of mushy. Because we know what the good kind of mushy and the bad kind of mushy is. The bad kind of mushy is when it's supposed to be crunchy and you bite down and it's... <laughs> Like, my nigga, no. And, you know, of course, coochie ain't supposed to be mushy. Of course, of course, of course. Once you step foot in the bathroom. And them, them, um, water stations, bro. No, I wasn't trying to fill my fucking water bottle. Like, all them fucking, that, that gave birth to the Visco girls and shit. I know that's like 2019 and shit, but that gave birth to all the basic white women. You know what I'm saying? Like. Bro, it, it was a it was a wave, literally a tidal wave of just bottle girls, bro. Not not alcohol bottle girls. I'm talking about the lame bitches, bro. I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, the ones who all all they did was had that fucking frozen ass ice in that fucking titanium ass bottle. Bro, get your head out your fucking ass and drink water like the rest of us, my nigga. No, you're not better than us, bro. Be because being realistic you're also wasting resources making a fucking bottle in the first place. Just drink it with your mouth, my nigga. Like, be so real. You wasting, you wasting time and energy and money? Bro, these, these bottles be like $24. 24 fucking dollars for a bottle? Are you fucking tweaking? This shit. 48 of these was like four bucks. Four. Four of them hoes. Not like, not like four of these. You know what I'm saying? Forty-eight or some for four dollars. And you niggas.
are buying $24 water bottles that are metal? I'm not even going to lie. Water and metal is disgusting. It smells exactly, I mean, it tastes exactly how white people be smelling. Maybe that's why. Because they get attracted to that. They're like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Arthur, you know what I'm saying? Was having that. So let me get it, you know what I'm saying? Because Arthur smell like that, I want to taste that. Because you white be nasty, you know what I'm saying? Be nasty, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? Open the water. Get my hydration, because y'all just got me heated. Got me over here. You don't Hyperventilating know and shit. So let's discuss the going on in them. Once you step foot in the bathroom, you don't know- Alright, let me, let me, let me... Take in what the fuck I'm looking at. Because, because everything that's the background... Is making me tweak. Like, all this and all this... I'm not understanding. That's real. That look like my nigga Brick. That's real. That look like a dickhead. That's real. I ain't gonna hold you. It was certain niggas. I ain't saying your names. But it was certain niggas that was posted up like this. You know who you are. Hanging off the fucking top of the stalls and shit. Get your ass down, nigga. That nasty ass shit. I hope your ass fall in the fucking toilet, dumbass. Looking dumb as shit. You know what I'm saying? Parkour. Like, nigga. We in middle school. Get the fuck down. I'm trying to take a shit. They were fat motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Taking up damn near half the fucking bathroom. Bro, if you don't move around, your ass can't even fit in none of the stalls. Get the fuck out. What to expect. Man, that shit so smells. Let's discuss the peculiar activities that occur in the school bathrooms. First off, let's just address how disgusting school bathrooms are. Bro. I done already said it before, but I'll say it again. You niggas that were fucking taking shit out the toilets and then drawing with it, you niggas are disgusting and repulsive, and you niggas should have never been born. On oh, God, I wish y'all niggas would abort it. Once you open the door and set foot into the bathrooms, your nostrils are immediately met with a stench. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, one. It's two, it's two things, actually. I ain't gonna lie. Recently, I blew the fuck out of my jaws bathroom, bro. I took a crazy-ass shit in there. It was because I really only had, like, coffee that day type shit. But I blew the fuck up out of there. And my boss was like, oh, did you just, like, take a shit? And I said, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Don't go in there. You know what her dumbass did? She went in there. She came out talking about some it smelled bad. No shit, dumbass. I just took a shit. Fuck you, it's about to smell like roses, nigga. Fucking dumbass. Mixed with oh, the second thing is... Like, I, he just described it, and I just got that smell again. The, the you know what I'm saying, 40-year-old piss... Stained floors, you know what I'm saying? You you open that shit and just like a nuclear aroma hits your nostrils. You know what I'm saying? You feel nauseous. You walk in that bitch and you get Minecraft debuffs, bro. Like that shit is disgusting. Dookie piss and farts so foul that it could kill somebody. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit was rancid. I don't know what you niggas was, was eating and going through and shit. It's probably them, them Michelle Obama ass lunches, though. I love the Obamas and shit, but damn, them shits was nasty. That stench has me holding my breath and plugging my nose the majority of the time I'm in. I wish, I wish, I wish niggas had doors like this, bro. This is a uppity ass school. Hold on. And they got locks? Hold on. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Trudy and, 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 you know what I'm saying, the Thought Patrol, well, okay, technically it, it wouldn't be the Thought Patrol, Trudy and, let's, let's think of a, a name for the treases and the tramps out there and the whores, Trudy and her gang of city girls, yeah, that's the one, the C, wait, the GCG, yeah, the, the gang city girls. The Gang City Girls, yeah, yeah, this, the GCG, the GCG was, would be up in them shits giving immaculate dome, bruh, immaculate dome, I ain't gonna lie, that shit would be so out of this world, yo ass would probably be geeking on that fucking stall seat, bro, talking about some, uh, uh, uh. In the bathroom, the bathroom floors are also always disgusting and littered with toilet paper. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I thought that shit was, <laughs> I thought this shit was, uh, hopscotch or something. 
But I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, the bathrooms I've been in, I done seen some crazy ass shit. But mostly they they be clean. I be like, don't be too bad. I done seen some crazy shit where like, you know what I'm saying? The shit and cum stains, piss stains, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. But honestly, like, like food wise, it just was mostly clean. Like, aside from in military, in, not military, Jesus Christ, in elementary school, them shits, them shits was kind of nasty. I ain't gonna lie. But I feel like it was because niggas didn't really know better. I personally did. I wasn't, I, I've never been one of you niggas. Um, I take pride in that. I've never been one of you niggas to just lay shit on the ground in the bathroom. That is fucking disgusting. Pick it up. Clean up your act, literally. Shit nasty. But no, I, I done seen some crazy shit. I, like, it's been mostly clean, though. I think the worst shit is always when you, like, finish and everything and, like, the soap is broken or some shit. It's always something, like, minor that, like, just throws you. Like, it's, it's major shit that be throwing me, too, but, like, the minor shit be, what, like, really throwing the fuck out of me. Cause I'll be like, oh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm already enjoying. It. Okay, I'm not enjoying it, but you know what I'm saying. It could have been a worse experience, and your ass just, just broke the fucking soap dispenser. Like it's certain things that, of course, it, it, it's a lot of things that people do in school bathrooms. It doesn't make sense to me, but you breaking the soap or a faucet, or you, you fat butthole motherfuckers that that you know what i'm saying be breaking toilets and shit with y'all logs why why i not just just don't if you gotta take a shit that big hold it pause but you know what i'm saying just keep that big ass log in your ass for you know what i'm saying like maybe two more hours because i'm not trying to have your shit aoe damage when i'm taking the shit you know what i'm saying and ruin my mood type shit but you motherfuckers that's breaking soap dispensers and faucets, bro. Why? What do y'all get? What do you get out of it? What do you get out of it? Huh? You look stupid. Paper and food wrappers. Like, almost all bathrooms have these industrial-sized garbage cans, and you're telling me dudes can't even throw their trash into it? Like, how can no. you miss? How's your trash even ending up on the floor, bro? Then you got the mirrors and the stalls always having engravings of drawings with either a knife or marker. Bro, when I tell you, you niggas used to be corny as fuck with these shits, bro. I remember, like, okay, so for my high school, I went to, like, my campus was a college campus, too. It was, like, a community college campus. And the amount of times I've seen, like, numbers and shit, drawing and shit, talking about some I give good head. And I ain't gonna lie. I've been one, I not been one and two, but like you know what I'm saying. It has been a time where I've been like I could call this number, not to get head, but just to see what the fuck you know what I'm saying is going on. Because I I can't imagine that <laughs> somebody pick up and would we'll, we'll remember. Because I also know that a lot of them buildings old as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like them shit's been around since damn near slavery, just in type shit. So, I know I, I call that number and, and some old ass motherfucker gonna answer the phone talking about some. Who this? I'm gonna, I'm you know what I'm saying, answer that shit talking about some. I heard you giving a maggot head, you know what I'm saying? And, um, Kenilworth Hall. I'm trying to get a piece of that type shit. No, no, I'm not trying to get a piece of that. But I do, I do be sometimes wanting to see, like, what the fuck was going on. Like, whose emo ass is doing all that? <laughs> not real. Don't get me started on the toilets, bro. Students be leaving the toilets looking foul, bro. You'd walk in a stall and... I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never left it looking foul. But I done did some dirty things on them shits. <laughs> <laughs> It just look. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to make do type shit. You look at the toilet bowl and see it unflushed with piss, poop. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. You niggas that don't be flushing, why? It it don't take that long, unless mind you, if you broke it, that's your fault. Fix it, nigga. But if it's broken, okay. But if you just left that shit, or sometimes sometimes. It be like the automatic flushes. And I'm thinking, now, who fat motherfucking ass done took these shits and just walked away and made sure that the, the toilet wouldn't flush? I remember niggas used to keep 
toilet paper on top of the cameras for the automatic ones so that it wouldn't flush. Why? Who hurts you niggas, bro? Like a mountain of toilet paper and blood and doo-doo stains on this. Blood is crazy. I don't lie. Uh, I kept my eyes um clearly in some good areas because blood, my nigga. <laughs> niggas had chlamydia. I see. Like, there's no way I'm using that stall, bro. I only went number two at school when it was an emergency. Nah, I did. I, I, always lie. I was a gremlin. Throughout school I was a gremlin. I got home to poop because I knew school bathrooms were nasty, and it's just more comfortable going number two at home rather than in a public bathroom. But if my stomach was hurting and I felt that gut-wrenching feeling in my abdomen, you best believe I'm using the school bathroom, or else I'm literally shitting myself in the middle of class. There's no way I can hold that in for the rest of the day. And one time, this exact situation happened to me. So I was chilling at lunch and I really needed to poo. So I went to the bathroom and opened the stall and bam, I saw the worst. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. When you really gotta take a shit and you just you just open that hell's box, that Pandora's box, and you're like, damn. You motherfuckers nasty. It's kinda sad. It's kinda sad. Cause oftentimes you be ready. You'd be there. You'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm about to take crazy shit type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, I'm about to really enjoy this. But no, like, you niggas always nasty. You niggas always on some different shit. Sight ever imaginable. Bro, I almost puked, swear to God. I just slammed the stall shut and used another stall miles away from that one. Seeing that had me scarred for the rest of the day. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's 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 even more traumatic when you really need to, and everything's fucked up. Because that's that's a moment of desperation. That shit hits your soul. I ain't gonna lie. That shit hits your soul. Day, I was seeing visions of the scene of the crime wherever I looked. It was bad, bro. People need to learn how to flush, bro. It's really not that hard. And even when I get to poop in a semi-clean stall, tell me why the toilet paper is always so thin. Like I'd be damned. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't always do this. But my ass kept that fucking paper on me, bro. No, I was not getting caught lacking, getting my fingers going through that shit. Hell no. Hell the fuck no. I made sure I kept my quilted northern. Um, what's the other one? What's the one with the bears? The Charmin? I think, yeah. Charmin Ultra Soft. You know what I'm saying? I kept that shit on. Deck. I'd be damn. I'd be fucking damn. Catch me on that bullshit. I'm near using an entire roll of toilet paper just for one wipe. Otherwise, that shit's gonna rip and. I can't say that. I mean, hey, at least I had some sort of entertainment while pooping in the form of drawings of. What was you getting entertained by, my boy? He was getting entertained by boys. He liked boys. Penises on That's real, though. Stall doors and other drawings. <laughs> Look at the penis. <laughs> what? Nah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> and let's just mention the bathroom doorknob. Bro, when I would exit the bath... Nah, I, I still can't say it. But... Also, when they used to have, have fucking metal as the mirrors... We're not prisoners. Okay. In boarding schools and, and military schools, it was probably necessary. But, bro, having metal as mirrors was actually so demoralizing. Because you couldn't ever really make out anything. It was more so, like, major things that you would try to, like, figure out type shit. But if you had anything on your face you couldn't really tell, unless you was getting your ass beat, then you could really tell. Me personally, I would never went through that that pain, but I'd have seen niggas get their ass beat, and then they look in the mirror, and it's even worse. They were like, you know what I'm saying, what it was in real life. Then I'm like, damn, they really look like they got their ass whooped, but they they moderately got their ass whooped. But no, them mirrors were so shit. They weren't even mirrors. It was literally just stainless steel on a wall. I'm not gonna lie. Whoever made that shit, your ass need to get fined. You're actually a fuck ass. Fuck you. I would be doing 
anything but trying to touch that thing. You don't know what people are touching throughout the whole day. Our hands yeah. be contracting all sorts of bacteria as the day goes by. And you think I'm going to open the bathroom doorknob, which is already located in one of the most disgusting places on earth? Oh, heck. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I... Never. Never. Unless I'm immediately washing my hands after. Never. Or, or it's like in my own home type shit. But public public bathrooms, not touching no knob. I'm not, I don't care. I'm not pushing it with my arm. I'm not wrapping my sleeve around. Nope. I'm getting a paper towel. Or I guess I'm just going to stare at the wall until somebody opened the door type shit. I'm, I'm guilty of just opening my phone and waiting for somebody to open the door. I'm not touching that nasty ass shit. I'm not touching that nasty ass shit. Because niggas don't be washing their hands. I don't think I don't think enough of y'all realize. People don't be washing their hands. It's somebody who be just smelling, smelling musty. And I, I can't say who it is. But I hope your ass, I hope your ass know who it is. But just be smelling Hell musty. Nah. So I would just either grab a I know your ass don't wash. and use that as a barrier between my hand and the doorknob. Or I'd use my True. feet to open the door. Or I... Uh, ah, uh, a few times, a few times, a few times, but it would, a few times, it wasn't too often. I'd use my favorite method of all time, waiting. Now the- Real, I, like I said, nigga, I'll, I'll just get on my phone. Part of waiting takes a lot of skill and precision into it. So let me just educate you guys and bless you guys all with the methods that will help prevent you from touching that disgusting doorknob. So I would just stand there and wait. So another student comes into the bathroom and I'd be like, yo, thanks, bro. And I'd walk right out of there. That's it. That's the whole method. Kind of an asshole move, but you know, you got to think smarter, not harder. Now let's discuss what the weirdos would do in the school bathrooms. So you got them bathroom menaces that would just terrorize people taking a- Yo ass know who you are, bro. And I hope that somebody just- takes you to jail and they just demolish your cheeks bro i preface this by saying my cheeks was not touched but i want you to know you know who you are and what you did and one day they gonna find your ass and they gonna put you against the wall and they gonna go to town on your shit my nigga deuce like these people will be banging on the stall door like why why what do you get out of it it's not even funny you just like a fucking doofus for what doors splashing water over the stalls closing the light like bro you go so out of your out of your way bro get the fuck out of here i'm not gonna lie if you wasn't a fucking or doing something crazy positive, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? In the bathrooms, bro, and you was just, just terrorizing other people, you don't deserve anything in life. You actually don't. And I hope somebody gets your ass back with crazy karma, bro. I hope they spend a block on your grandma, nigga. It's, and doing anything to make people taking a shit feel uncomfortable. Here's an example. Been so long since I caught someone. Mmm, so you wanna play the quiet game with me, huh? Well, I'm always- Like, dog. Let's just, let's just think about this for a second. Logically speaking, right? If this nigga had bitches, he wouldn't be doing this. Cause he wouldn't have time. You went out of your way. Mind you, bro. Yo ass on TikTok. Yandy Yandy one Yandy one K. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm finding your ass right now. Yandy one K. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Video unavailable. Keep it like that, fuck ass. Alright, nigga, you're not funny. That guy was probably like, and you are probably like, I have no bitches. Now let me in. All I'm gonna say is, bro, like, some of them locks not as stable as the other ones. So, 
some of them some of them not not as stable as the the other these type of dudes would also wet up some toilet paper and roll it up into balls and throw them at the ceiling making them stick and you niggas had nothing to do <laughs> when i tell you bro i'd have, I'd have actually seen like janitors have to clean up sometimes because like i would be in there late and it's kind of sad because they just be they'll like they'll walk in you know what i'm saying ready to do their job and, and they look up and boom it's uh it's just a bunch of fucking toilet paper on the ceiling and when that shit stick for a while That shit not coming down easy, my nigga. <laughs> Which is downright disgusting. Like, what if one of them falls in your head while you're trying to take a piss? Straight up menaces, bro. And then let's just talk about the weirdos that are just straight up out of pocket. There'd be some weird dudes that just be straight up pissing all over the bathroom floors. Like, at my elementary school, dudes were pissing all over the floors, on the vents, and even in the station where you wash your hands. Like, come on, man. That's just taking it way too far. And I can't be the only one who does. doesn't trust the soap dispensers because i've heard stories of weird kids doing unspeakable things yeah yeah i have heard that shit um i really don't believe that shit like it depends like if if it looks sus or like tampered with i don't I don't touch it but if it doesn't then nigga like it's so oh that sounds crazy actually that actually sounds crazy not it's soap but it's clean that sounds even worse damn if it looks tampered with i'm not touching it and then i wash my hands after anyway or i put hand sanitizer on anyway after because i'm a real like cleanly ass nigga bro to the soap dispensers that I don't even want to say. Like, I still use the soap, but I'm just a little sketched out because what am I going to do? Pack a bottle of soap to school? You know what? Maybe I should do that. That sounds like a really good idea. And then you have the kids who be pulling their entire pants down to their ankles. I ain't gonna lie, only niggas I saw doing this were retarded. Ankles, just to pee. I think you know who I'm talking about. But one time, I really needed to pee, and I went to the bathroom, and as soon as I opened that door, I saw a dude's bare... Not the baboon booty, bro. Shit crazy. Her cheeks at the urinal, and I just instantly left. Like, I didn't need to pee no more, bro. And I've never witnessed this, but dudes be choking the chicken in the bathroom. Like, man, some of you guys need Nah. Well, the friend, of course. Sorry, not, sorry, not, sorry, not. Not with a friend. But like I said, bro, you gotta do to do what you can do to do to make dudes do type shit. Need to chill. Like y'all can't wait until you get home to do that. Like it's God. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you feeding that hard to get a nut off, that you beating your own meat in the school bathroom. I think we gotta look at some other things, bro. I think we gotta look at some other things. We may have to look into to getting your ass some therapy or something. Cause your ass, um, your ass tweaking jit. Your ass bugging to be in school and sometimes you have people who be spending their entire lunch time in the bathroom stalls like please choose someone bro i ain't gonna lie it used to be this one girl who got bullied a lot bro and i, I literally just remember this there's one girl who used to get bullied a lot in my middle school and i walked in the like the the boys bathroom and everybody ate like all shit was full type shit and I was like, oh damn, like, I guess I can't take a shit right now, because it's it school lunch type shit. So, I was like, I was like, alright, all right, no, no, I wouldn't take the shit, I was gonna use a urinal. But, like, everybody was full of type shit. And there was other niggas just standing around, and I was like, oh, nah, because also, it was looking like something about to go down, and I, I wasn't in the mood to be part of that, because at my school, when shit went down in the bathroom, it was almost 100% caught, like, immediately. They were like, nah, I'm not trying to do all that. So, I went to the nurse's office type shit. I was like, yeah, can I use the bathroom? She was like, nah, I shouldn't be here. And I was like, word, but like, I got a headache. She was like, I guess. And I was like, oh, word, but. 
And I guess she just didn't know that somebody else was already in there. Or she just didn't care enough to, like, let me know. So I knocked, and I didn't hear nothing. And I was like, okay. And it was unlocked, so I opened the door. And this girl just sitting on the fucking toilet, just eating her lunch like a sad bitch. And I was like, oh. The fuck are you doing? Like, nigga, I got, I got piss. Please move. Like, thank God I didn't open the door and you were, you know what I'm saying, pants down. Because, Jesus, fuck. But, nigga, um, I have shit to attend to. And clearly, you just a lonely ass nigga. You can go ahead, go ahead, you know, eat your lunch in the nurse's office and shit. Talk about some, I got a stomach ache. And you'll be good there. I, but I got to piss. You got to get the fuck up. You got to pack your bags. Literally, you got to pack your bags and go. Um, before I get to, you know what I'm saying, I about to say something crazy, can't say that, can't say that, but you know what I'm saying, so that did happen, and she was like, oh, tight shit, packed her shit up, got out, took a piss, didn't see that girl the next year, I think she left school, I hope she's still doing good and everything, uh, if you ever see this video, your ass know who you is, and nigga, you kind of sad, but I hope you're doing better. Because you what? Like, me and you never had any issues with more, so I just had to pee. Somewhere else to eat your lunch, bro. Like, I'm telling you this for your own safety. Because it cannot be healthy. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. You, you, if you was eating them shits, if you was eating food in the school bathroom, I know your ass was getting cholera, um, E. coli, Ebola, probably a little bit of syphilis. Because. The fumes, the germs, the airborne diseases of them shits, bro, was getting all up in your food, all up in your digestive system. Nigga, they was probably fucking your insides up, bro. You was probably coughing out puss. Healthy to be breathing in all that doo-doo air for a Nasty. whole hour. It's gotta take at least five years off your lifespan if you're doing it consistently every day. Like, just eat in the hallways or a classroom for your own safety, man. Now let's discuss the activities that occur in the school bathrooms. You would have kids skipping class to go to the bathroom just to spark it up in there with their home. Whoa, I ain't gonna lie. No, I never do. It's never that, it was never that serious. Unless you a fiend, then I guess it is. And we gotta get you some other help too. But for me personally, it was never that serious. It never will be that serious. Um, If I'm fiending that bad, I need to leave school actually. My ass don't need to be in a school smoking. Also, the fucking, like I talked about the fumes and shit. Inhaling, bro, in a school bathroom. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I used to try to, you know what I'm saying, max out, you know what I'm saying, holding my breath. I was in that bitch hitting quick time events and shit, trying to make sure I didn't breathe at all, bro. Talking about some, let's smoke in the school bathroom. Nigga, you're tweeting. Homies. Same goes for the kids who vape. <laughs> the little jits, bro. Jesus Christ. It used to be, it used to be jits that would come in the, um, in the high school bathroom. And would, would hit their vape and shit. And I would just laugh at them, bro. I would just laugh. You wanna know? I would just laugh. Because... Y'all niggas sitting here getting addicted to flavored air in a school bathroom, bro. You could get addicted to so many things in life. You can get addicted to smelling gas, smoking gas, liquor, you know what I'm saying? Other drugs. But flavored air, bro. And I've never heard anyone say, bro, I'm so gone off of a jewel. <sighs> you niggas sad. You niggas make me sad. And that bathroom would just be completely hotboxed. And you'd have those kids who were hustling and dealing some substances to other kids. And those were the real niggas, I ain't gonna lie. As long as they wasn't smoking in the bathroom, they were real niggas. It's like Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol, grass, you know, stuff. Pepto-Bismol. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I, feel like I knew somebody who's like that. School. The school bathrooms <laughs> the are these kids' shit. property. Like, they have full ownership over yeah. them. You'd walk in and see like six of these dudes getting turned in the bath. I ain't gonna lie, the flint and still noises is killing me, bro. Niggas in that bitch making Minecraft noises. And of course, we can't forget the fights that happen. Kids would be straight up having a fight club in the bathrooms with- I ain't gonna lie. Every- every actually, hold on. This is a crazy one to admit. On the first video, 
but this video long as shit anyway. If you watch this whole video, you a real one. Um, I remember one time I was taking a piss, bro, and niggas was having a fight like behind me, and niggas was recording that shit, bro. Niggas got me just just full on trying to make sure you know what I'm saying, ain't there nigga be pushing to me while I'm taking a piss, and niggas will. I don't remember someone bought that up randomly one time, and like laughed, and I was like. Okay, but nigga, is that not real? Like, I'm trying to take a piss. You niggas trying to fight and shit. I'm in this bitch for reasons. Like, I, I'm in here for the reason this, this, you know what I'm saying, room was made. You niggas over here talking about some extracurricular activities during school time. <laughs> An entire crowd watching them brawl it out like it was KSI versus Logan Paul. And the news of the fight happening would spread across the school like wild. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's because, it's because... Every fight had like six or seven niggas watching, minimum. And those six or seven niggas would tell six or seven niggas immediately after, or even before, like during. And after that, those six or seven niggas, each of those six or seven niggas. So, bro, it was like spreading, you know what I'm saying, at a, what was it, um, exproportional, you know what I'm saying? Fire. and you would Big always have the kids who record the fights but it's always recording the worst and i'll tell you bro i was even the video that i was in inadvertently bro terrible quality it was 140p i don't even know how niggas deciphered that it was me in the background i was like bro focus on the nigga who just got the shit smacked out of him bro like come on angles and like in 180p the dudes recording the fights really need to step their game up and I don't even know how these shits got so bad quality. Because, like, we had eights and shit, I think. Oh, did we? We had more than iPhone 3s and shit. That's, that's enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, after we get past 5s, if your shit, you know, less than HD quality, then I don't know what the fuck you're doing, bro. Y'all should be looking like it's... Maybe that's what it is. It's screen recorded of a screen recorder of a screen recorder of a screen recorder. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. That's how bad y'all shit used to be. Show up with one of these so we can get some Not 4K real. footage of the school fights. Then you got the kids who be stirring up a barbershop in the bathroom. Those are real niggas. Those are real niggas. I don't see the issue, bro. Like, you need to get a fade. Get the fade. Like, you worry about them, but your shit look whack. They are entrepreneurs. They're making money, bro. Like these kids will be giving other kids some fresh cuts in the bathrooms and getting people right with the fades, or he'd be absolutely doing people dirty with the cuts. Dude was really on his entrepreneur grind set at school. Real shit. Now let's talk about how TikTok absolutely made school bathrooms worse. You'd have those kids who'd be recording. T bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm so happy I got out like right before the TikTok era really hit crazy. I got yeah, I got like right before I took that air hit crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I I was starting to get thrown with niggas like doing that shit on the bus. And then niggas started bringing that shit to the bathroom, bro. And I'm not trying to be an old nigga, bro, but like get the fuck off your phone. There's nothing you can be doing that that's that, you know, noteworthy, bro. Shit disgusting. TikTok dances in the bathrooms. Like, come on, man. I'd rather see the group of stoners and vapors than those kids doing their TikTok bro. dance as I walk by them to take a piss while cringe. Like, bro. And then they would they would be like, they would always say some shit in the caption. I'd be like, oh, this was so unexpected. Or, oh, this person walked in and messed it up. No, nigga. You're corny because you're doing a TikTok in a bathroom, bro. It used to be a nigga on... Oh, in my fucking college campus, bro. This nigga used to make shirtless TikToks in a communal college bathroom. <laughs> Niggas used to walk in on him making shirtless TikToks, bro. <laughs> that shit gotta be the corniest shit that you could do, bro. You can't, you, I can't, I can't look at you the same after. Nigga, you look goofy. The fuck out the way. Just ruining my day for no reason. Then you have the school thought giving free vocal lessons. I don't see the issue. That's crazy. How do I say this right? Trudy and her S. Was it? Was it? Was it? GCG gang? 
Trudy and her GCG gang. Gang City Girls. Gang of City Girls. Yeah, Gang of City Girls. Gang of City Girls makes more sense. But her GCG. It probably got people a lot of experience that they needed. You know what I'm saying? Like. And probably a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of other experience, you know what I'm saying, of you know what I'm saying, going to the doctors and making sure you get tested. Um, I'm here to spread knowledge. And that is knowledge that needs to be spread. You niggas need to get tested. It's not everyone. And then you have the infamous TikTok trends that took over the school bathrooms. People were really having bathroom functions. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Now that that's probably one thing that I that I wish like I experienced at least once because I didn't like it was it was like times where like it was a lot of people in the bathroom at once the niggas was just talking and shit you know what I'm saying good vibes but it was nothing like what I done seen before like niggas used to be jumping bro niggas used to be up and down booming bro type shit and concerts in there like who would partake in such a thing shit I would okay you got me. I was one of the bathroom function attendees. So That's at real. high school, people were planning a bathroom function for the last day of school. And you know, a bunch of dudes pulled up to the bathroom and we were getting turned in there. But then teachers and the hall monitor found out fast and we all had to disperse and dip out of there. And the people who set it up got in trouble. Here's some footage of oh. it. I'm the biggest bird, I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. Then the principal made an announcement on the speakers. I ain't gonna lie. Man, lonely, right? I hope that shit was capped because that shit looked corny. I hope that, I hope that shit was capped because that shit looked corny. I I'm pretty sure it's just because it was censored. Maybe it was it wasn't real. That shit looked corny. That shit looked that shit looked a little uh, a little dumb as fuck. So it has come to our attention that there has been this thing going on in the school bathrooms called bathroom function. I'm not gonna lie, bro. School principals really be the biggest haters, bro. And I think, I think that's where I'm gonna end it. I think that's where I'm gonna end it. I know, random, random as hell to end it right there. I think that's where I'm gonna end it today. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I think I'm gonna do daily, daily uploads. I could do daily uploads. I could really be that reactor, nigga. Alright, look. My name is Swank Bum. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, I can't even think of anything else to say type shit. Um, I'm gonna I'm a try to get, you know what I'm saying, some some videos in the daylight. It's not happening, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's um, probably not happening. Um, if it's too loud, um... I don't care. Um so word. See ya.